Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, we're gonna be doing a pro 2v2 tier list on multiverses. I think this is my first tier list that I'm doing on YouTube, so hopefully, I do enjoy. If I do, let me know if y'all want to see a 1v1 um, tier list a overall tier list and even a casual tier list you know what the lower levels think that is at the top and at the bottom i do enjoy comment down below um and if you're first time you're watching one of my videos and you do love multiverses content then hit the subscribe button guys and let's get straight into it so we're gonna have four tiers these there but i don't think i'm gonna put any character there because i feel like all the characters are viable 100 percent but there are characters that just have a little more cheese than others which makes you know them better and let's start with s tier S tier, we're gonna start with the one and only Iron Giant. So again, I know a lot of people probably think this character is awful. He's combo food, my mom get pink pink. This character at a high level has to be the most broken, most jinkiest character ever. The reason why is because one, huge hitbox, right? Um, he is a huge hitbox versus like hit wise too. Um, he has vulnerable moves. He literally can pop a vulnerable move that allows him to do whatever he wants to to make reversals and a whole bunch of other stuff um he gives a lot of great health to his team overall his character is just so busted and then partnered up with certain other characters makes him even better and the coming second on this list is yep you guessed it the nerf character velma nothing changed in this character guys one less word um you can't do the loop, but you can still do the loop. It's it, it it it's a little bit different, a little bit less damage, but you still could get the double weakening on. It's nothing changed. Oh, and her side special that no one barely used got nerfed. Nothing changed. This character still top tier. This character's not going anywhere, at least if right now from this um season one. Nothing changed. Next, yep, you guessed it, Bugs Bunny, another character. He got whiff recovery. If y'all don't know what whiff recovery is, it's pretty much now when you miss, you have a bigger window to be punished at. Let's just say with the addition of online and just this character in general, it didn't make a difference. <laughs> it's still the same. This character is still top tier. Nothing has changed with this character. Next we have is Tom and Jerry. Um, a lot of people probably think this character isn't all that. I feel like the top players already knew he was up there but they never paid him too much mind because not a lot of people wanted to play him you know the only person that you know truly played him at a, at a high level is void um we all knew he was busted we just didn't really again didn't want to play him um but you know it was more brought to the outlight with more people playing and playing him and just abusing his projectiles his crazy huge hitboxes it's 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 um projectile meta still so tom and jerry is up here Next we have is Superman. Since playtest one, in my opinion, I felt this character is so broken just because of how long he could live. Not only that, his gimp system on this character is ridiculous. His armor moves are ridiculous. I'm happy they removed what I think one into an armor break move now, but again, it's just it's just brutal, man. This character is just. God tier, and then on top of it with his ice breath that could just change the whole game and slow it. It's brutal. That's all I can say about this character. It is brutal. Uh, now we're gonna be going into the A tier. Now I'm gonna be putting one woman at the top. I feel like she's just a great and fast and tanky character. Now, um, I do agree with her with her weight, but for the fact that the whole you know, the avoiding cat winning it, it kind of felt weird seeing her get buffed because usually what they do is. Uh, when a character does crazy good, they want to nerf it. So, you know, it's kind of balanced around all the cast. It makes it fair. So, when you saw that she got her weight increase, it's like, I did feel like she needed it. Because, again, she is a tank, but, like, still has her speed. She still has her power. Okay, not her power really that much. But, like, it's it was just a shock to see. But she's a, a viable character. She has the whip. She has the um, armor. She has the scream that she has. She has the crazy um, safe punch that she has very top tier fast character that's also um heavy she's like she's like a she's like a heavier say a little bit slower batman faster harley type type stuff really good next we have is rain dog a lot of people sleep on this character this character literally controls the map with um its projectiles obviously we have better projectile characters like velma bugs and um tom 
but not only does he have um, his projectiles, he also has an insane tether that allows your teammate to do some crazy stuff and just don't be punished because by the time you see your teammate get hit, you just pull back. And it also has a disgusting um, crystal that literally is a, neut a following neutral. So if you're getting comboed and your crystal is near you, he can literally stop you getting comboed so you can take back an advantage. And this is brutal. It's, it's so good in twos. Next we have is Steven. They won't let this character live. In the future, I feel like this character is going to be number one top tier. His kit is just so amazing. But they just keep nerfing him. <laughs> They're not allowing him to prosper for some reason. I get why, but let the man at least be a little bit broken, and then you can gut him a little bit. But, bro, they just keep slowly, like, nerfing him. Like, the issues right now are the, these, the you know, the top tiers. And they're like, all right, we're going to give Bugs uh, with recovery. We're going to take a word away from Velma. Steven, you, you looking at us? You're getting nerfed. Yep, you're getting nerfed. Nope, you're getting nerfed. It's like, bro, what did he do? <laughs> but, nah, this character is still top tier in my opinion. Um... He he just has an amazing kit. He can literally reset all his um recoveries off stage. I feel like you should never die with Steven unless you're getting one hit straight off because again you could have your you play you place a platform, you reset all your options and you can get back in. Um you have Waterman Steven this annoying little hell. You have a crazy up special and an up attack. You also have Rosebomb, which is amazing, that literally turns games into two V1s. So you can Ugh, kids this character is such so good, so good. Um, next we have is Jake. Uh, a lot of people probably don't see Jake at the top. I think I definitely do. Stretchy arm. Still, still God sent. House. If you don't know, House literally is like the best reversal move in this game. It's literally almost untouchable. By the time, you know, he comes down with House, if you're trying to attack him up, you're going to be sent up. And depending on your percentage, you're just dead. Um, what else? He has the, the amazing Tomahawk safe move that he has. He has um stretchy punch. This is Henry. Oh, what the and hell? this is Okay. Hit me with an ad. <laughs> um again. He has he has stretchy arm. Um he has stretchy arm. And um he has stretchy arm. <laughs> but yeah, um next we have is Shaggy. Shaggy, Shaggy, Shaggy. He's one of those bruises that are kinda up here just for the fact of his priority system is just nutty. That Falcon knee is crazy and then that Ba that bailout i call it a bailout i don't care what anyone says it's such a bailout his charge when he's this special. is henry what is going on with this thing oh my god this ad is screwing me <laughs> but um but yeah the charge is just so brutal it's such a bailout you can literally be at 100 percent rarely get your special get that one combo link if you didn't know you can combo into his special so you know you get that one punch and then goes right into up special and you're dead or a side special and you're just dead so this character is definitely a slept on character, but it's definitely a good reviable character. Next we have is Finn. Thank God Finn has finally been fixed. I know a lot of Finn players are crying. Screw you. This character is actually fair now. Um, so amazing. Got the gem teleport. He has his bag still. That's even better, right? I'm pretty sure. He still has his crazy down spike. Characters, God tier. Also has um, an answer to projectiles with his side special. He has ability to buy a perk to help him and his teammate uh, when they use, I think, charge moves that it spawns a projectile blocker. He can give himself boost. And I, and I really slept on tool is BMO. Ain't BMO. I'm pretty sure BMO is like an armored and an armor break move. And that's crazy knockback. Great. Amazing character. Next, we're going to be going into the B tier. We're going to put is Batman. And I know a lot of Batman mains is like, what do you mean? <laughs> Batman is lower. He's, he's so bad. No. Oh, my God. Batman is really good. Obviously, I feel like, you know, there are definitely more cheesy characters um, at the top. But Batman literally is a walking neutral. In twos, it's a little bit less um, brutal for the fact that, you know, there's multiple people. It's easier to be broken, especially, again, with the cast that he's going against. But he does have the, the smoke that stops all projectiles. So if people spamming projectiles, just sit in there. You're vibing. You get the speed boost. You still have your weakening bonuses. Your um, uppercut is amazing. Your um, grapple finally works so you can bait people with it or use it. Amazing. Um, and, yeah, you have your little bomb thing that can help after you get, like, a nice uppercut hit. Um, next we have is Garnet. Garnet is still a slept on character. She, I feel like she's going to be in the higher tiers a little bit later down in the years um, after people, after more characters get more balanced. Because like I said, um, back then, 
I feel like the cat the cast was balanced to the point where like everyone had their BS to where it's like everything was fair, even though it wasn't fair because everyone was broken. Now we're in the meta of where projectiles are just at the top and all the good characters like you know the ones that I haven't put up yet are pretty much just been gutted and it's like okay they're in a fair spot when are these higher characters gonna be in a fair spot you know so I think that's where um, Garnet's at she has the singing that gives the speed boost and armor breaking for a few seconds she has her little spark that if you stay in it she gets a, a incredible increased speed and her teammate if they stand in it um, she has a nice combo game in my opinion if you really take your time to learn her she's a heavy hitter she also is a low-key tank like superman obviously not as heavy but pretty brutal and yeah really good next we have is aria i want to put aria higher in the list because if you don't know aria is back guys yes she literally has her ladder move it works well again it's perfect it's brutal but again again the again against the cast that we have it is just not there. I, I, if all honestly, now thinking of it, I will probably put her like maybe here, here, literally. But yeah, she's still an amazing character. But for the fact that she's very light, and again, against this meta that we're going against, she's just so light that she just dies too fast. But if you, you know, have a great neutral game like um, No Cash or Rose J's, one of like I would say the top Aria players she's gonna live she's gonna live and getting those gimps are brutal um next we have is harley harley is just not viable she is like um another character lebron um her attacks are just slow now she's one of the slowest character with um aria the only two characters that are slower than these two assassins quote unquote have glass canning because they're supposed to be fast so that's their punishment is iron giant and superman and superman doesn't count because if you dodge with superman you're literally flying across the screen with this character so literally harley is just so unviable um she's still a great character fun character um but at the higher levels at the pro levels, at the tournament levels she's just hard to push out because one again she's light like aria um her setups are you know pretty cool the jackbox the bomb and stuff but again, the meta we're in, jetbox don't live for for more than five seconds. People run over it just to run over it, or people break it with again one of their projectiles. It's not that hard. Um, and I know a lot of people want to say, but she has her infinite. You're not getting that infinite off in twos all the time. You're not. You're, you're barely getting. The character is just not there anymore. Um, especially with her like with recovery. Um, on most of her moves, she has the one of the heaviest with recoveries on or on her whole kit, which is ridiculous. But yeah, that's why Harley's at the bottom now. Next we have is LeBron. I feel like LeBron is only down here for the fact that we haven't seen enough yet. Um, in twos at least. I think this character is really good. Um, I feel like they did gutted him with the whole side special that he had. That um, you know, had the shockwave, but now it doesn't have a shockwave um, as a solo play. It has to be from his teammate. I think it was a fair change, but I think that's just made it... I don't know how to put it in words, bro, but... I just put him down here because I just felt like we haven't seen enough with him. Pretty much like Garnet. Like Garnet, there are characters that are really good, but not as good to bring her at the top yet. Like I said, it's just a more balancing thing. I just feel like they're just not there yet. But the, LeBron is still like a viable choice. Like I said, everyone is is a great choice. Just off the cast right now, I don't think he's up there. And then finally, we have is Taz. Oh my God, this character literally became a hero into a zero. This character again is still viable, but again, just against the other cast, this looks like a two toy, bro. He just feels like a toy, just something to just play with. It's like, yeah, get out my face. <laughs> and then finally, we have Morty and Rick. Uh, when I'm uploading this video, Morty should be dropping out tomorrow. Um, I already know Morty's gonna be an S tier. Come on, man, look at his face. Look, look at his face and tell me he's not gonna be an S tier. And again, we have Rick, and then Rick, you know, Rick is Rick is everything, so. Of course, Rick is going to be S tier too. I don't know what they could do, but let's just say they're going to be S tier. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Like I said, if y'all do want to see a 1v1 um, tier list, a overall tier list, and a casual tier list, like I said, because casuals, uh, people that just play the game for fun, will definitely see this tier list way diff different. Seeing the assassins and bruisers more at the top and the projectile characters kind of more at the bottom. Um, but yeah, if y'all do want to see that, just comment down below and I gotcha. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. 
comment about anything, you know, I love y'all comments, you know, I love replying back to y'all, and it's the first time ever watching one of my videos, and you do enjoy multiverse content, then this is the channel for you guys, hit the subscribe button guys, and I'm out, peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about, left him back home in a whole nother state, moved to LA cause she wanna be famous, got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough, hard to find.